And so ISG is a hospitality company, hotel company, and a technology company. Customer expectations for hotels have changed significantly. So when you're traveling today, you don't write down your confirmation in a number anymore. Typically you don't. You look at your phone and you want to go look at your phone to find out when I, get, when I need to check in, I need to find the address for my hotel, um, I need my confirmation number so that I can check in. All of that's done with our mobile app today and all those are systems running on VMs that we support, that we built through our provisioning systems um, that are being uh, managed and maintained by our chef configurations as well. We started working with Chef Automate about a year and a half ago, and Chef, I think, went out of their way to come help us get it stood up and get it working for us, um, and help transfer that knowledge very quickly, and within a matter of days, we had our standard pipeline built for all of our OS configuration cookbooks. We've got about 60 cookbooks, um, and all of them are controlled via Chef Automate. Um, as we are migrating all of our applications over to the hybrid cloud, one of the requirements is that the applications have to be chef um, and the reason for that is so that we can rapidly redeploy them if we need to and rapidly scale. So as you select the cookbook to run, it will build that server with that application running. And then as scalability, it's simply an API call um, to build that same server again and again. And at the end of the day, your application is up and running. As far as our speed for delivering our OS configuration cookbooks, we're running, we do daily deliveries now. Uh, we can do a daily release every morning between 4 and 6 a.m. We can push a new OS config release. Um, and that's all because of all the testing that we're doing within Chef Automate. The fundamental IT infrastructure is a service and is a reliable service. So we don't have developers that are constantly having to worry about, well, this, we spun up this VM, but now I got to contact engineering to get them to fix all these problems that we have. Uh, we've pushed approximately one and a half million individual changes over the last year and a half using Chef Automate, and we've had a total of 30 individual changes that had negative impact on production. Uh, but we're also able to roll those back very quickly to get us back to a stable state. And changing tools or evolving tool sets have minimal impact on us, because again, all of our core is still Chef-based, and Chef's still providing all that heavy lifting for us. I guess the advice that I would give somebody who's starting, at least in the shelf world, just get the agent, get the client installed and get it registering. It doesn't have to run anything. Just get out there, get it, get the applicant, get the client to report back once an hour, even once a day, and just look at the data that it gives you and the value that it gives you just out of the box. And then just evolve it. Don't try to come in and fix and solve world hunger with one shot. Just grow one grain of rice first and then grow another, and just keep evolving and iterating through it uh, to build it out to be what it needs. And I think you'll be surprised after a year how far along you'll become, or how far you will get after a year.